hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tessie and today we'll be learning how to make this one shoulder organza top if you're yet to subscribe kindly do that and let's get right into the video so guys for this project i'll be making use of just two yards i don't know what this fabric is called but i'll be making use of this fabric so let's get right into the video so what you need to do is fold your fabric into two Then you fold it into two again. So as you can see, I folded my fabric into four. Fabric is folded into four because we'll be cutting the front and the back together. So this point will serve as my shoulder line. So what we'll do next is chalk from the shoulder to the waist. So from the shoulder to my waist is 17 inches. So I chalk down 17 inches. As you can see, and I went ahead to connect it into a straight line. So after chucking from the shoulder to the waist, what I'll do next is from your waist, come down by three inches. So from your waist measurement, just come down by three inches. So as you can see from my waist, I came down by three inches and I'm just going to connect this line into a straight line as well. So after connecting the lines, what we'll do next is chalk from the shoulder to the length of our top. So from the shoulder to the length of my top is 25 inch, but I'll be adding extra one inch for sewing allowance. So after chalking my 26 inches, I went ahead to connect it into a straight line. So guys, what I did was from the shoulder, I came down to my waistline. From my waist, I came down by three inch. And from that point, I chalked the length of my top. So after doing that, what we'll be doing next is working on the shoulder area. So you chalk your shoulder divided by two. My shoulder divided by two will give me eight inches. So as you can see, I placed my tape and I chalked eight inch on that shoulder line. So what we'll be doing next is chalking the length of our sleeves. So from that shoulder point, you chalk how long you want your sleeve to be. So for me, I want this sleeve very long. So from that shoulder point, as you can see where I placed my tape, I'm going to chalk the length of my sleeve. So for the sleeve, I want it to be 24 inches, but I'll be adding extra one inch for folding allowance. That's 25. So as you can see, I chalked 25 inch on that point. So I'm just trying to make the line visible for you guys to see. So what I'll be doing next is on the shoulder area, I'll be taking my neck measurement. So for this, I'll be taking five inch and I'll be coming down by three inch. So as you can see, I chalked five and I came down by three inch. So what I'll do is connect the lines together. So after doing that, what I'll be doing next is placing my waist measurement. Do not place it at your waist line. Place it at the next line. So my waist measurement divided by 4 inch. So my waist divided by 4 will give me 8 inch. I added extra 1 inch for ease. And I'll be adding 2 inch for sewing allowance. So what I'll be doing next is on the top length, I'll be placing my hip measurement divided by 4. And I'll be adding extra one inch for ease. So my hip divided by four plus one inch, that's 11. And I'll be adding two inch for sewing allowance. So what I'll do now is connect the lines together. So just watch what I'm doing. So after doing that, what I'll be doing next is on the sleeve area, you know we chalked 25 inch. So what I'll do is just connect this line all the way down to the waistline. So go ahead, connect that line all the way down to your waistline. And what we'll be doing next is just come down by one inch and just curve in your hand. So guys, carefully watch what I'm doing. I came down by one inch and I just curved in that point just to have this armhole curve around that area. 
so after doing that i just went ahead to blend it in for you guys to see so guys after carving this is what it looks like we'll go ahead now to cut out our fabric So guys after cutting it out this is what it looks like so what we'll be doing now is slashing this shoulder area so i'm going to go ahead to open up that shoulder line so guys after doing that i have one pieces for the front and also one piece for the back as you can see this is what it looks like so i carefully place them together because this fabric is a bit hard to work with so you can go ahead to pin your fabric just place them together this way so looking at the picture you realize that the top is a one shoulder top so what you need to do is at the shoulder point come in by four inch so i placed my tape and i chalked four inch and from that point i'm just going to curve it till i get to the midpoint of my fabric so what you do is just chalk from that midpoint chalk all the way down to that four inch line so i'll go ahead now to cut this part out So guys, after doing that, I just went ahead to blend that part in. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, one shoulder is up and the other is down. So guys, we are done with the cutting part. What we'll be doing next is joining. So for the joining, I'm going to be piping the neckline using my bias. This is the bias I saw very close to the fabric. So I'm just going to use my bias to turn the neck. So guys, after biasing my neckline, this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to place the fabric together. So what I'll do is at the shoulder, I'll be stitching half an inch. And I'll also do the same thing on this part as well. So guys, after stitching half an inch on that shoulder line, this is what it looks like. What I'll be doing next is joining the front and the back together. So I'm just going to stitch one inch all the way down to this point. And I'll also do the same thing here. I'll be stitching one inch all the way down to the top length. So after doing that, I also went ahead to fold the down part of my top. So we'll be adding elastic to the sleeve area. So what I'll do is fold in my sleeve with one inch all around and attach my elastic to it. I'll do the same thing for this part as well. After doing that, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So guys, this is the final look of my top. As you can see, this is what it is looking like. If you want your sleeve puffy, I bet you should use an organza fabric for it. Hope this tutorial was helpful please do not forget to like this video share and subscribe see you guys in the next class bye